Minus five degrees Fahrenheit. Every day it got a little colder. The whole city seemed to be numbed by the snow and ice. But nobody was worried about it. Take a look inside, Tyler. I'm gonna talk to Garrett and see if he found anything. Cool with me. I can't even think out here in this damn cold. Ah, I was waiting for you, Carla. So, what happened here? The guy who runs the Lavamatic found the bodies around 5 o'clock this morning when he came to open up. When he tried to get in, it seemed like the door was blocked from the inside. He saw the two bodies through a window and called the cops. Do you think there's a link to Cain? The woman died from three knife wounds to the heart area. It happened in a public place and with no apparent motive. Sound like Cain to you? Were there any prints? Just those of the victims. No prints from Cain, if that's what you're wondering. Thanks, Garrett. Knife stuck in his eye. Death would have been instantaneous. Bizarre. His wrists are all cut up. Looks like some kind of symbol carved on them. A snake. A snake with two heads. Did you notice this blood over here? Yeah, I saw that. What do you think it means? That the murderer was bleeding before he stabbed his victim. Just like in the toilets of the restaurant. Three or four stabs in the area of the heart. Exactly like the victim in the restaurant. I wouldn't be surprised if the autopsy finds that the arteries were severed. Bizarre. Why is there blood here? Is this where he cut up his own forearms? Cain left some blood in the toilets, too. Did Cain cut his arms up, too? The knife has the same handle as these other tools. It must have come from this toolbox. Knife is stuck in his eye. Damn, that's gotta hurt. Poor girl, she was stabbed from the front. She found out who her killer was at the very last moment. We can still hear the dial tone. She must not have had time to dial the number. Too bad, we could have had a live witness. Here's the victim's laundry. Who would have believed she wouldn't be alive to get it out when he was ready? Let's go. I've seen enough. What are we supposed to think about this murder? 
A guy committed suicide after killing the woman? It seems absurd, but it's the only explanation. I don't think Kane had anything to do with what happened at the laundrette. But, all the same, there's got to be a link between the two murders. I had nowhere to go. I was exhausted. I felt like I was gonna die, either from the cold or from hunger. I hoped that I could rest for a couple of hours at Tiffany's place, get my energy back, and figure out what to do next. I'd only been to her new apartment once before. I only had a vague memory of exactly where it was, but I was sure that this was the street. Tiffany's apartment, of course. They assumed that I'd show up here looking for a place to hide. I have to find another way in.
That window leads to Tiffany's apartment. If only I could find a way to open it. <sighs> I think it budged a little. No way, it's stuck. I wasn't too proud about breaking into Tiffany's apartment like a common criminal, but I had no choice. I hadn't eaten in almost a day. I was starting to feel weak and tired. Nothing to eat here. Hmm. Nothing to eat here. You have one new message. Today, at 10.41. Hello, Miss Harper. I'm Detective Carla Valenti from the New York City Police Department. I'd like to ask you a few questions. I'll try calling you back a little later today. Extremely cold temperatures remain the top story today, with the thermometer dropping to a new record low of minus 15 degrees. Heavy snowfall caused the temporary closing of the Brooklyn Bridge. And sadly, the cold proved fatal for several homeless persons in Harlem and in the Bronx. Europe has not been spared either. Record lows have been registered in numerous countries. And for an expert point of view on the subject, we have with us today one of the most renowned specialists on Mayan civilization. Professor Dmitry Kuryakin of the Mesoamerican University here in New York. Uh, thanks for being with us today, Professor. You've written a fascinating book on Mayan rituals. And uh, I wanted to ask you if... A specialist in Mayan civilization? He'd know what Kechtoklan means. Gotta meet this Professor Kuryakin.
find me? What are you doing here? The police are looking for me. I needed a place to hide for a few hours. Lucas, what happened to you? The papers are saying that you killed several people. Is it true? <sighs> the whole thing is very complicated. All I can tell you is that I am not a murderer. I love you, Lucas. I don't want to lose you. Sure, they just want to ask you a few questions. Just stay calm, Tiffany, and answer their questions. I'll I'll hide in the apartment. Everything will be fine. You'll see. Miss Harper? Miss Harper, are you home? Yes. Just a second. I'm coming. Lucas, I can't keep them waiting anymore. I've got to open the door. Miss Harper? Yes? I'm Detective Tyler Miles, NYPD. I'm working on the Lucas Kane case. I think that you two were romantically involved, isn't that right? We're involved, yes. But we separated. We broke up about a month ago. Have you heard from Mr. Kane recently? Has he tried to contact you? I went by his apartment day before yesterday to pick up the last of my things. We hardly spoke. I haven't heard from him since. Do you mind if I look around your apartment? Well, it's just that... Hey, I'll only be a minute. Go ahead. A little redecorating? Yes, the apartment wasn't in very good shape, so I've been painting it. It's taking a long time with my job. I don't have much time to... And what do you do? I'm a nurse. I work at St. John's Hospital. What happened to your window here? Oh, that. I broke the glass while moving some furniture last night. The window repairman promised to stop in today, but I guess he forgot me. Cooperation, miss. If Kane does try to recontact you, please call me right away. Here's my card. Be careful, miss. Kane's a very dangerous man. <laughs> 